Next, I'm going to use a few simple applications to show you some typical patterns of mashups. The first pattern is ad hoc, where base maps and operational data are combined to create the mashup application. In this first example, we're looking at some public safety information for a city. We're looking at some historical crime incidents, and our operational data has been filtered using the current extent, a specific date. We can look at information about individual incidents, and we also have a chart showing us incident counts by crime type. This application also allows for community input, where citizens can simply select a type of public nuisance, a location on the map, and the application is going to provide the address before the information is submitted to the city. The second example is an application for a planning department, where they've published a map service of future parks development. The purpose for this application is to allow for citizens to propose changes to the current plan. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to switch out to a base map provided by the city, which contains additional information. Citizens can then simply sketch the proposed changes right on the map, and the application is going to provide information about the parcels and buildings that will be affected by these proposed changes. So operational data, your points and polygons, can be simply overlaid with somebody else's base map to create the simple application. The next pattern is enterprise integration, where many different departments within an organization are contributing content to the mashup application. In this example, we're going to look at a base map for the city of Tampa Bay. On top of that, we're going to look at various map services that have been published by city departments, all showing current work areas. All of these map services have been created and maintained by different organizations, but we've place them all together in a simple application. Citizens can, use, can type in their address to simply find information about projects that are going on in their neighborhoods. So we can see how simple informative applications can be built where many different departments in an organization are contributing content. The next pattern is interorganizational sharing where base maps and operational data are shared across different organizations. For this example, we're looking at a utility company's operational data, which spans across multiple cities. The task for this application is to find out some parcel information around a particular customer. So we'll first start out by locating the customer. And then we'll look at a list of map services, parcel map services, that are available to this particular utility company. In this case, we'll select the parcels for the city of Riverside. Once the parcel service has been added to the map, we can see that it provides the proper context to do our work. In this case, finding all the parcels that are within 250 feet of a particular address. So we can see how mashups allow us to combine data and information from different organizations, not with files and databases, but via map services. The next pattern is a federated base map, where multiple organizations are contributing content to the base map in the mashup application. For this example, we're going to look at a federated hydrography base map. At this scale, we can see that the current map service is being provided by the USGS. As we zoom in closer, we can see that we now we've switched over to a hydrography-based map for the state of Texas provided by TINRIS. And if we zoom in even closer, we can see that now we're going to switch over to a hydrography-based map for the city of Austin that contains additional content and detail at the appropriate scale. So we can see that mashups allows us to visualize the building of a national map where multiple organizations are contributing the content. The next pattern is analytical modeling, 
where operational data and analytical services are chained together to create the mashup application. In the first example, we're going to perform some hydro analysis in the city of Austin. And we're going to start out by looking at the same federated hydrography base map that we were just looking at. On top of that, we're looking at stations that fall within the current extent. So let's go ahead and look at the parameters that are available for this particular station. We see that we have some flood polygons available to us by time and depth for an event that happened in January of 2007. So we'll go ahead and display the hydrograph for this event. As we move the time slider, we can see the corresponding polygons being displayed on the map. These are the polygons that are output of an analytical process. So they can be used as the input to perform an overlay analysis. In this case, retrieving information about buildings and assets that might have been affected at this particular time of the flood event. <laughs> there they are. In the second example, we're going to look at a GeoRSS feed of USGS recent earthquakes via a Yahoo pipe. The purpose of this application is to discover the number of people that live within 100 miles of a particular earthquake event. In this case, we're going to select the earthquake that happened last week in LA, as previously mentioned by Se Secretary Kempthorne. We'll start out by sending this location first to a geometry service that's going to calculate the 100-mile buffer for us. Then this 100-mile buffer is sent to a geoprocessing service that provides the result, in this case showing us that we had more than 20 million people within 100 miles of last week's earthquake. So we can see how simple applications can be built where services can be chained together, where the output of one service becomes the input to the next. The next pattern is interoperable, where base maps and operational data are combined on top of other many commercial base maps. For this example, we're going to look at a drive time analysis geoprocessing service. We're going to perform the analysis and look at the, look at the results on top of ArcGIS Online. Now we can see the one, two, and three minute drive times from the specified location. But this same geoprocessing service can also be used on top of other commercial base maps. In this case, Google Maps and Microsoft Virtual Earth. So as we've seen, mashups So as we've seen, the power of mashups allow us to create simple, focused web applications by integrating many different GIS services. Thank you.